Did you just change your Facebook status to entangled? Yep. What does that even mean? It means my life is so correlated with my mother's that she knows what's going on, even though we are really far apart and I exchange information directly with her. <laughs> Makes sense. Hi everyone, Crystal and Trace here for DNews. Physics is an exciting frontier for scientists right now. Some quantum physicists from China just reported the results from a crazy sounding science fiction experiment where they were able to transfer information between two particles without actually exchanging any physical information between them. It is basically a form of teleportation. Wait, what? Yeah. Let's unpack this idea for a bit. So entanglement particles, which are like subatomic particles, like Higgs boson, a graviton, or photon, we'll just call them particles in this case, they're in a long distance relationship. Right, so particles are just like people, since I live in San Francisco and you're in LA, we have to send information in order to interact with each other. So let's say that information takes the form of a Snapchat measurement of our current state but in the quantum universe. Right, okay, so in the quantum universe, we would be qubits, a unit of information like the polarization state of a single photon. And normally we wouldn't interact at a distance. You'd be spinning your way and I'd be spinning mine and we probably wouldn't know that much about each other unless we were entangled. I mean, well, probability is the key anyway, right? So. <laughs> entangled particles are correlated with each other even if they're separated by distances. So instead of me and you spinning as free spirits, we're spinning the same, and changing my state can change yours. Right, like twins who claim to feel each other's pain even though they're really far apart, right? <laughs> sure, but the crazy thing about this article is that usually we need to start with one physical interaction to generate that entanglement, but these researchers didn't. So one of the most reliable ways to generate entangled particles in the past has been to start with a single photon focused on a special crystal using a laser. Sometimes those single photons split into two lower energy photons whose individual polarizations maintain a relationship with each other. Because of this relationship, we say the two photons are entangled. But these scientists transmitted information between entangled particles without that initial physical interaction. Instead of generating entanglement inside a crystal where the photons interact strongly, they decided to put a quantum object somewhere out in space and then shine lasers past it. The photons from the lasers don't strongly interact with each other, but their properties do depend on that object, so they get entangled. So these researchers basically demonstrated a different way to generate quantum entangled particles. Right, but this is actually so cool because it means that by manipulating these interactions, we might be able to create an internet that uses quantum information. Jeff Kimball is a professor at Caltech's Institute for Quantum Information and Matter, and he famously proposed a quantum internet in 2008, but the authors of this paper took the idea a step further and they envision a galactic or intergalactic internet, which may be possible based on the present scheme. So, fans of Martian vacations, take note. That sounds ambitious, but if I was stuck on a Mars colony, I would totally want to be able to Snapchat with other galaxies. But let us know what you think. Will we be creating a galactic internet anytime soon? Subscribe to DNews, let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you later.